everyone, welcome to my channel. I will be doing a tasting video for you guys today and it is going to be on Brazilian candy sweets actually. Brazilian sweet. So my mom recently went to Brazil and I asked her to bring back like sweets that I have never tried before. I am partly Brazilian so I probably will recognize or be able to say some things. So we have a bag filled with stuff and a giant surprise. Alright, so with further ado, let's get started. Alright, so where should I even start? Alright, I guess I'll start off with this. This is the Bis, and it looks like it just has chocolate wafers, and that's all it basically says Bis on it. So, let's try it. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm still in my cast, not my cast, my brace, and if you don't know what happened, you can go see my vlog that I made, and I'll put the link below. So, I'll be opening this with one hand. I hope it's good. Oh, okay, so they're individually wrapped, as you can tell. It looks like gum or something, and there's a lot of it, so it just looks like that. And. God, I'm horrible at opening things. So, it's just chocolate wafer. Looks like that. Hmm. It tastes like a Kit Kat. Like, more on the pepperminty side, even though it has no peppermint. Individually wrapped, which is really cool. And it tastes like a Kit Kat. give it a four out of five. Okay, next product is this giant box. It's called Garoto. Garoto, and it looks like it has a bunch of different things on them. Here's the back. Oh, it's upside down. It's Novo Baton Creme, which means like something ball with cream. Sounds pretty good. Let's open it. Oh my gosh. So it's like a box of heaven. And I think I have actually eaten these before. I've had these. They are so good. So I'm just going to try. I don't know. Might as well just try one or two of these. So. But I don't remember what exactly is in them. I just remember they're good. So it's like that. Well, when you first bite into it, it's um like a wafer. The chocolate is not very chocolatey. And so we're also in the fridge. Um, so it's a little hard. So the inside side is like white chocolate. The outside is chocolate and the middle part is like a wafer. Mm. It's okay. I give it a three. Three out of five. Okay, next we got another chocolate wafer, and it says the brand is Balduco, and it says Waver Sabor Chocolate. Um, so it basically just looks like a wafer with filled chocolate inside. So let's get in it. Ooh, I love these tabs. Comment. Okay. I just made a mess. It just fell out of the back of the box. Well, I'll clean that up later. Okay. Let's try this. Oh my god. They're so delicate. Oh my. Okay. 
So it just came apart like that. Mm. The wafer is very thin. The chocolate is very slight. Can't really taste it, but the wafer is good. The fact that it fell, I give it a four out of five. I was gonna say my dog could eat the, the crumbs that fell, but it has chocolate in it, so that's not a good idea. Okay, great thinking, Julia. All right, the next thing I'm going to try is called Lacta Lacta, and it has Verdages, which means varieties, and I don't know what Lacta is, I guess that's just the brand. And the side, I guess it has three different kinds, so let's open the box. It's like a shoe box, what's up with these boxes? Well, that's Brazilian for you. And this was bought in Brazil, so this is real Brazilian sweet. Um, it's basically the same thing as the other box. Basically has like the same stuff. But um, we'll try something different. So, I don't know, they all seem pretty chocolatey to me, but I'm just gonna try this because it appealed to me and it has like two little boxes. So, let's just try it. <gasps> Do these have bubbles in them? Oh my god, if these have bubbles in them, you know the Australian candy with like the bubbles inside, the air bubbles? I hope it is. Oh, uh, never mind. I think I just broke a tooth. It's just, it's like a crunch bar, a very hard crunch bar. Mm, give it two and a half. Okay, this is like pistachios so I'm gonna try something different for you guys it says wafer con re regio de creme con cacao which means it's a wafer with something with cream from uh, either coconut or pistachio I'm not very good at understanding what's on these labels I normally can understand Portuguese okay so it looks like a pistachio just straight up with chocolate inside. Mmm. Has nice milky chocolate inside. Mmm. It's pretty good. Very sweet. It doesn't taste like a pistachio. Love it. It doesn't taste like a pistachio. It doesn't taste like a coconut. It's just a pistachio looking chocolate with wafers. What's up with chocolate and wafers? Okay, time for something a little different. So we got these gumdrop sour thingies. They're called Gomax. Gomax. I don't know. But they look like sour gumdrops. And at the top it says Prove es delicia, which means proven is delicious. We'll see about that. So I chose a green gumdrop because I love anything green. If you know me, I'll eat any anything green. Sour, sweet, spicy, anything. Green eggs. Okay. Okay, so it's not sour. It's very sweet. It's just like a gumdrop. The gumdrops that they serve on Halloween, but better. Mmm. I'm starting to taste the lime. After all, it is a lime gumdrop. It's pretty good. I give it a five out of five. It's not too chewy, and it's not too sweet, and you have the lime taste, so. I um, have actually eaten these before. They are um, called Gotas Chocolate con uh, so chocolate chips just say chocolate chips and what they are they're muffins with chocolate chips and inside is like if you know what a brigadeiro is they have it all over brazil it's like the most popular festive um dessert candy that they will serve and it's just a chocolate ball with like condensed milk and chocolate and you roll it in toppings like sprinkles and stuff so anyways the middle is filled with that and it's so good 
so I'll show you. It's really good. It looks kind of gross, but it's actually really good inside. So it's just like a muffin. So you just rip it. I'll just bite into it. Mm, so good. So the middle is like not crummy, but it's like thick crumb, like condensed, I don't know. And then in the middle, you can kind of see it has the liquid chocolate stuff. Anyways, it's really good. So that's my favorite, I give it a five out of five. I like to snack on them, so I'm gonna save it. So, now for the big surprise. It was Easter, um, like last week, and my mom was out of town. She got me, actually my uncle in Brazil got me this giant Easter egg. It's like the size of my face. Do you see that? It's so pretty too. All right, so I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna keep this bow. It's so cute. How the heck do you open this? I'll be right back. I got scissors, y'all. Okay. Oh god, I have to do it with my left hand. That's my bad hand. I mean my I'm a righty and I hurt my right arm, so I have to do everything with my left hand. Oh gosh. How am I supposed to open this? <laughs> Just opened it like that. <laughs> okay, so it's a giant foil, foil egg. I think there's. I think there's stuff inside, like little eggs. What if it's a giant chocolate egg with little eggs inside? Oh my God, that would be so good. Ah, there's tape on it. It is chocolate. Brazil needs to do some better wrapping though. It's like so difficult. All right. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Look what it is. <laughs> okay, so it's chocolate with little chocolates inside. So um, let's just get right into it, huh? This is part of the egg. Tastes like a crunch bar, but the chocolate's better. The chocolate's really good. It's sweet, it's tasteful. It's a little cup. <laughs> um, I tried the little ones inside. This is our last one of the night, guys. Make me proud. Well, it's hollow. I mean, not hollow, it's, there's nothing in it. I was hoping there would be caramel or something inside, but, hmm. Normal chocolate. I rate the egg a five. I rate the little baby chicks inside a three. Sorry, chicks. I guess that's it. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these delicious treats. And leave a comment below if you ever tried any of these or wanted to try any of these or want to go to Brazil or anything. Please share this with friends and stay hyper. Bye. Love you all. Oh, what a lovely mess I made here. <laughs> Gonna have to clean all of this up in my room. Okay, well, that's all, folks.